Welcome and thank you for participating in our study of teacher assessment practices in 8th grade science. The purpose of our research is to collect information about middle school science teachers assessment practices in their classroom. Rather than directly observing lessons, we ask that you use the assessment notebook to collect and reflect on assessment materials and student work in your classroom during two 10-day units of science instruction during the 2009-2010 school year. This tutorial will walk you through the process for collecting and annotating artifacts for the first assessment notebook. You will receive a new notebook for each of the two 10-day collection periods. These notebook periods will correspond with the two units of science instruction that you and the research team previously identified for the project. On the inside cover of the first notebook, you will find an introductory letter listing the items included in the first package. In the first collection period, you will receive teacher and parental consent forms in addition to the notebook. Please sign the teacher consent form and distribute the parental forms to students for their parents to sign. Collect all forms and return them in the concluding folder when you return your first notebook. Please let students know that everyone who returns a signed parental permission form will be entered into a class raffle for an iPod, regardless of whether or not they agree to participate in the study. Let's get started with the notebook. Our study seeks to collect information about teacher assessment practices in middle school science. Our definition of assessment includes not only tests and quizzes, but a range of formal and informal tools and approaches you may use for assessing student learning. Thus, we ask you to collect a variety of materials in the notebook. On page 3, you will find a list of these materials. Part 2 contains detailed directions on how to complete your assessment notebook. The assessment notebook is designed to allow you to collect a typical unit's worth of assessment materials. The unit topic and dates for which you have agreed to collect materials are listed on page 4. Please also refer to this page for instructions on what to do if you teach on a block schedule or if you skip a day or lesson. Next, we will review the kinds of assessment materials you will collect and the steps involved in completing each section of the assessment notebook. Each notebook has three sections. An initial folder for collecting your initial reflection questions and planning materials. Ten daily folders for collecting assessment materials and samples of student work. And a concluding folder for collecting additional materials and your final reflection questions. The final folder in the back of the notebook contains supplies for marking and labeling the assessment materials you collect. Please turn to page 5. Starting a few days before you begin teaching the unit, please collect any materials that reflect planning of learning and assessment goals for the unit or for individual lessons. These materials might include unit plans, pre-assessments, or performance criteria. See the list of possible materials on page 5. Please collect all pre-assessment materials in the initial folder and write a list of the contents on the front label. The next step is answering the initial reflection questions on page 6 of the assessment notebook. These are intended to provide us with the context necessary to understand your assessment practices. You may write your answers by hand, attaching additional paper as needed, or type your answers in the Word document you received via email. Put the completed handwritten or copied type reflection questions in the initial folder. You are now ready to start collecting assessment materials for the unit. During the first two-week collection period, you will collect assessment materials you used to evaluate student learning, provide feedback, or inform grades. Page 7 in the notebook has a detailed list of assessment materials you might collect. Please review the list and identify any materials you plan to use in your lessons. Remember, we are only asking you to collect materials you regularly use in your class. You do not need to use additional assessments just for our study. Please photocopy each assessment material along with any accompanying printed instructions given to students. Please describe any additional verbal instructions given to students by writing them on the assessment itself or on the yellow label found in the supplies folder at the back of the notebook. Label each material you collect with the yellow sticky label from the supplies folder and complete the information on the label. Place the labeled daily assessment materials in the corresponding daily folders and list them on the cover of the daily folders. 
We ask you to collect samples of student work for any assessment that you collect and return to students with grades, marks, or written or verbal comments. Select one high-performing student and one low-performing student at the start of the unit and provide samples of work for these two students throughout the notebook period. Photocopy the completed assessments for the two students with the grade assigned or written comments if there were any provided. Make sure you always cover the students' names when photocopying their assessments. Identify the high-performing student with the blue sticker and the low-performing student with the yellow sticker. Stickers can be found in the supplies folder at the back of the notebook. Collect all the annotated materials and samples of student work you use each day during the two-week period in the corresponding daily folder. During the two-week collection period, please refer back to the directions on pages 7 to 9 as needed. You may also contact the study coordinator via email or phone for questions about completing the notebook. At the end of the notebook period, please collect any other assessment materials related to this unit that were not used during the period of data collection. This might include summative or benchmark assessments, long-term projects, and student reflections directly tied to this unit, even if they were given after the two-week period included in the notebook. Again, label each item with a yellow sticky label and place them in the concluding folder. Identify the folder contents on the label outside of the folder. Next, answer the concluding reflection questions on page 10 either typed or by hand. Place your responses in the concluding folder. Finally, please place the signed consent forms in the concluding notebook folder. In the first notebook, you should enclose a signed teacher consent form and the parental consent forms that you distributed at the start of the period. Please refer to the checklist on page 12 to make sure you have completed all elements of the notebook. Mail the completed notebook and all materials back to the research team in the pre-labeled envelope provided. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the study coordinator, Rebecca Luskin, or the principal investigators, Professors Felipe Martinez and Hilda Borco. Their information can be found on the information sheet on the inside cover of the notebook. Thank you very much for your participation.